Welcome again to my YouTube channel. Today's recipe is Iraqi, very famous type of candy called Man Asama or Man Wasalwa, filled with nuts, very delicious and very unique. Iraqis are famous for it. So let's start the recipe. To make this candy, I use a cup and a half of uh, granulated sugar, half a cup of honey, half a cup of water, I am using this cup but you can use any other cup make sure that you are using the same cup for all the measurements you can use the standard cups too and I have two tablespoons of freshly ground cardamom and I have here a mixture of flour and cornstarch you can use either flour or either cornstarch I have cold water to test the candy the caramel consistency and I have two egg whites and also less than half a teaspoon of um, citric acid if you don't have citric acid you can use two teaspoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice in a medium saucepan I added all my ingredients at the last I added the citric acid or the lemon juice and I kept stirring until it starts bubbly and it's gonna turn to caramel just be careful and make sure that you don't have any kids around you this is really dangerous So in here I'm trying to show you how to check on the consistency of the caramel. So you need to cook it about 8 minutes at least until it is little darker than golden color. And in this picture here again in a cold water the caramel finally became harder and then gummy texture. I'm trying to show you that this is the texture we are looking for like gummy type of candy in your mixer add the two egg whites and start whisking them until they become really foamy like in this video and then we gonna start adding the caramel sauce as you see I am drizzling it you have to be very very careful So now the marshmallow is ready. This is the base of the candy. So I added the two tablespoons of, again, I'm mentioning freshly ground cardamom. It is very important that your cardamom be fresh. And I added here two cups, a cup of almond, roasted almond, and a cup of pistachio nuts. With the help of corn, Starch. You can use either cornstarch or flour. So I dusted generously on the bottom of the tray and I lined it with non stick aluminum foil. You can use any parchment paper. Mm -hmm. 
Using the aluminum foil on the bottom, it makes easier later on to move the dough from the tray to the cutting board. And here I'm trying to spread it evenly with the help of wet hands. And then I let it sit in the fridge for about two hours and then transfer it on a cutting board. And this is the hardest part. And then you can shape them or roll them to balls or just leave them square as is. And then I roll them in a mixture of flour and cornstarch. You can use either flour or cornstarch, but I mix them together. And then keep it in the fridge. It's really tasty and it reminds me Christmas and have a wonderful holidays and Merry Christmas so this is finishing product of Manasama or Manana or Al Manwa Salwa please don't forget to subscribe and like and share until next time stay safe